What's up guys, I'm Drew Hoff and Tanner Maker's best friend. I'm gonna be updating one of my good friend's um, seat. This is a wooden cover for one of his window seats. So he's got one of those big windows in his house and a seat right under it with this uh, compartment that comes up for storage, uh, but it's really outdated. So if you can see here, they covered it with this fabric, um, you know, more old style. Um, and it just kind of got faded over a long time and they're looking for a nice way to modernize it so quick and easy products let's get started <laughs> So the first thing we're going to take it to the table saw and we're going to cut off the uh, very edge of each side except for the front. That can say curve, uh, but we want to get rid of the curve so that when we match this up to each of the pieces of wood it's as flat as possible. If we're finding that they're not matching to each other uh, and they're not flat and there's some curves, we'll take it to the joiner. But um, I got a small joiner and this these are really long pieces of wood so it's going to be hard uh, with the joiner to really crack this. Uh, except for going through a lot, a lot of pass-throughs. So we're hoping the tables will take care of that uh, and get as close as we possibly can. In this video, we'll also be reviewing the new Ryobi OnePlus drill and driver combination. So far, loving the feel and control you get with this new tool. I'm going to use a drill and this dowel jig to make some holes along the edge of each of the pieces of wood on both the top and bottom. Then I'll measure out the dowels and use my bandsaw to cut them down to size. I'm only applying wood glue to the edges of the wood and not inside the dowel holes since this would make it for the glue to be pushed through the structure of the wood and can cause for some breaks and tear outs. It takes a little bit of effort to get all the dowels to align but once we get there it's easy to push everything together nice and flat with these pipe clamps. Alright guys, so throughout this video you guys have been seeing me use this new Ryobi drill and I also got this impact driver in the 201 kit. Huge thanks to Home Depot, they've actually sponsored this video. This is all part of their OnePlus HP brushless new system um, and they were able to provide these new tools to me and I gotta tell you, they are pretty 
Sweet. I'm used to using um, very similar tools, but I'm already noticing a huge difference in these specific ones. Uh, I wanted to point some of those out for you real quick. So one of the things I really like about the hand tools is it comes with the light on the bottom here. Just, I've seen tools with like lights on the front and stuff. That's pretty cool, but on the bottom it actually illuminates a lot more. Uh, the battery gets inserted from the bottom like this. The nice thing about this is you always make sure it's seated. Um, so uh, other batteries that slide in a notch and then you actually see the terminals exposed. Those actually uh, can get damaged over time a lot easier. And this is just a much easier system like that. You know it's nice and secure and on. You get the four LEDs here for battery. So you know that what your, you know what your battery life is and you know a pretty good amount when you have four of them, three. Uh, you really, you know, you lose that first bar in three and you already think you gotta start charging it. So that's always a nice thing. But the most, the coolest thing about these tools that I noticed is the control in the brushless system. So check this out. So I can I can gently tap the handle here. And you see, very slow, and I'm just gonna keep pressing a little bit harder and harder. And you can see the control you have in the speed in the trigger itself. And listen to this. That's smooth. If you listen to other tools, um, a lot louder, you'll actually see more of um, like little sparks and stuff. This one, I'm not seeing that at all. Way better design. And it, they just feel pretty sturdy. So I'm very excited about these tools. I've been using the, um, the drill to drill out the holes to then attach together all of the wood panels and keep them nice and flat. Um, you can use the impact driver if you're gonna use screws. I'm not gonna be using screws for this one, but it's the same concept. I mean, you can go slow, and listen to the, I mean, the control on these are just, and they feel, I mean, really good, really good. So big thanks to Home Depot for sponsoring this video, uh, sending these awesome tools to use that enable these type of projects. Let's get back to the build. So now I'm going through and measuring out where I want to cut out the middle section for this piece, which will then allow my friends to keep using this window seat as storage as well. To save time, I'm just going to use my miter saw and flip the piece to cut across the full length of these boards. Once cut, I'm going to do the same method I did before the final wood piece of this bench. All right, so what you saw me do and what we're gonna do again here, I'm just gonna align the edges of the two pieces I want joined. I'm aligning the two angles of the two pieces I want joined as perfectly as I can. I feel it nice and smooth just like that. I'm gonna take my square here. And uh, it doesn't really matter where, I try to keep one towards the edge and I'll draw a line here. And now you gotta, once you draw one line, make sure nothing moves. Okay. And for this, I'm gonna do three, I think. It'll keep it nice and aligned. All right, and then I'm gonna do one closer to this edge. This will be a little bit harder because you're at an angle here, but that's fine. All right, so now I have three lines. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take uh, this tool. You, There's a lot of this is just a, a dowel jig tool. There's a lot of uh, do-it-yourself options, really easy to make yourself. Um, out of laziness, I bought one, you know, big deal. Uh, so all we're gonna do, I'm gonna align one of the holes with the lines I just made here. So align. And I like to align it right in the center because my pencil's a thick lead. So I'll try to line it right in the middle on one of the edges because that'll mess things up and make things harder. And then I take a quick clamp and I'm just gonna get that on there. Okay. 
Now I'm taking the new Ryobi tool. Um, I've set on this drill bit a stop, so it only goes a certain point. Uh, this will seem like a large length, but because the tool has a big block on it, it's only getting about uh, three quarters of an inch of a hole, which is what I want. Um, and it's good to know that because when you get the dowels later for the next part, you're gonna need to know it, so we'll get to that. All right, and then I'm taking it and just drill as straight as possible. Again, this is nice because you can do nice and slow with this hand tool and then, and then speed up over time. Boom, like that. Okay, I'm gonna finish doing them across all of these lines real quick. Now, the nice thing about making your own dowel jig for this one is it's a very thick wood, so you actually want um, to be able to be as close to the center as possible. You can see my holes are actually all on the upper end, so I'm actually gonna do a second set, you saw me do this as well, of holes on the bottom. Um, first, I'm gonna do these, I'm gonna flip both pieces, align them again, and then redo the holes. Um, again, it'll, it'll just keep it as centered as possible when you have both sides. Um, all good tricks with this, so here we go, we'll flip it over. All right, so now is the part of the holder drilled and we're going to now cut down um, some dowel rods. Uh, they're the same diameter as the drill bit. And um, what we're gonna do, like I mentioned, we had the stop on this. So I know this is about three quarters of an inch um, to the flat part there. So it's about three quarters of an inch to this flat part right here. So I'm gonna cut each of these dowel rods right under 1.5 inches. Uh, I want a little bit of room because uh, I'm going to put some glue. I'm not going to try to put too much glue in the dowel rods. I don't care about that. They're just for alignment. And the shorter these are, the stronger they are, if you think about it. So if you have a long dowel rod like this, you could break it if you snap it. Uh, the shorter it is, it's harder for you to break it. It just gets um, stronger. So uh, we're going to keep them as little nibs, little nibs, and it's going to hold everything together. And yeah, here we go. All right, so now we're going to take those dowel ends. I'm gonna actually sand off some pieces a little bit rough around that just. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna put um, them in on one end. Then we're gonna apply glue to uh, the flat ends of each of these parts, okay? And then we're just gonna hammer them with a mallet. And I'm gonna use, because uh, I'm having wood glue be the main thing holding everything together. Uh, I'm gonna use each of these uh, bar clamps uh, one on the bottom, one on the top on each side, and that should be good enough. Here we go. After everything is sanded down and all level, I apply a Varathane dark walnut stain to match my friend's floor stain color. I'm applying two coats to all the pieces. Once that dries, I can now attach the piano hinge that will connect the frame with the middle panel. I'm going to mark out the outline of where I want the hinge to sit in 
and then I'll take a hand router that routes out exactly the thickness of this hinge so that the two wood pieces can sit flush against each other without any gaps. Because of the awesome levels of motor control in these Ryobi tools, I'm able to use the impact driver and slowly drill these tiny screws in without stripping them, which is awesome. As we near the end, this is a good time to remind you to make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to make sure you follow along with all of my projects. Now that these two pieces are attached, I can finish off with two coats of polyurethane sanded to a high grit. Now that this product is all done, I'll be delivering it to my buddy's house and helping them install it into place. I really love how this product came together and hope you all enjoyed it as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see the final piece installed. And as always, thanks again for watching.